are doing. Gun Race 9 here, back with some more Hearthstone Arena. And we're going with Drew because that's my daily. So if we can get that done with this, that'd be amazing. I got two dailies actually, which are Drewed. So, yeah, of course. We got some of the late game dealt with. Uh, Rat is always nice. Of course, Druid of the Fang too, but you never know when you're gonna get the uh, Beast. Uh, Acolyte or Sanjin. I guess I could go for Sanjin. I know I get value out of it, uh, out of that, so. Wild Grove now. Uh, let's go with uh, one more rat. Now we're done with the rat. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with Mark of Nature there. Always a great card. Um, yeah, let's get Zombie Chow. Another Mark of Nature, I guess. It's kind of a good card, so. Defender of Argus. Uh, and Rage or Whip and this plus to attacker. Guess I'm gonna get some two drop. Don't have that. Um, uh, yep. Crown of Mark of Nature number three. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Mark of Nature number three. It makes for some good for the game. Poison seed. Yeah, it can get get you out of a pinch. Here I'm gonna go with the Fen Creeper. Now I need to work on a little bit more early game, but uh, six drop, six drop. I got a Sunwalker. I guess four drops are really the key to winning a game, in my opinion. Yeah, both cards were pretty bad. Didn't leave me a choice but to take uh, the Lost Tall Tall Strider. Here I want that. Uh, Drew to the Flame, Abusive Sergeant, Robocob. They're all pretty decent. Uh, what's my two drop like? Blood cell. That's it. Got some wild growth. Well, one wild growth. I think I'm gonna go with Druid of the Flame. Uh, yeah, let's get a questing adventure. I already got one of those. Do I have dragons? Nope. But we never know. I could get some. I'll take it anyway. Uh, wild Girl number two. I mean, they do have a lot of a. Uh, I'm not sure Wild Girl number two is really that good there. It's not a good situation for it. I have enough tree drops that I think I'll go with Strangle Turn. Need some late game. If it get to that point, I need to be able to win that. Uh, Dragon, Dragon Kin with Mark of Nature could be good. Since I already have one dragon, uh, I don't have the dragon it. I didn't take it, so let's take it now. Uh, Matter Bomber. Yes, they fall. Uh, Volcanic Lumber. Let's get another two drop. Increase our odds of getting it. I already. Oh, god damn it. I already have three Mark of Nature. I don't think getting another one there is good. So I'll go with the number two of that. Here I have a lot of four drops. So I think I'm going to go with the uh, Abusive Surgeon. Makes the early maybe a little bit better. Uh, Solve the Forest. I have one of that, right? No, I didn't take it. If I do get a few minions at the start, use it on turn four, I can trade and still have minions. That could be decent, I guess. Okay. Uh, I think here I'll have to go with uh, the Sea Giant because I have enough well, Mark of Nature to make Dirk Whisper actually not that good. Of course I have the 5 Wisp, but I don't have anything to really boost them except the uh, Soul of the Forest. I mean, play yeah, Dirk Whispers and then play it and you have like 5 one, one that becomes 2-2s. Two but I'm gonna go with Sea Giant. Things yeah, that's a good card. If I can get a few minions on play, play the Poison Seeds and... Uh, yeah, Poison Seeds and then use a Sea Giant. Depending on the play. I don't think it's a deck that's gonna do that good. 
I think I can get at least three or four wins out of it. It would be my guess. Of course, it's always uh, always depends on what happens on play, which is in the end, it's what's gonna decide how good the deck does. Of course, what I play is gonna decide what it does, but who knows? Okay, what do we fight? Yeah, Paladin, probably a good matchup. Might be a close game. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. I'm really scared of uh, mulliganing that and then getting something worse. When you have something decent, you keep it. How many times did I actually mulligan my hand and get like four, four, five drops? Then you're like, well, I should have kept the first one. Not gonna happen there. Hmm. Well, let's see what he does. He has a coin, so he might coin out a two drop or not. That makes my blood cell pretty good. Oh, well, that makes it a little bit worse. Does he have a one drop? Uh, what is that gonna be? Revenge or something like that? I guess we'll find out. Oh wow. I didn't expect it to be repentance. I should know pad and spell a little bit better. But I guess you learn. It's not gonna change a lot if he goes phase, I just trade two one. Yeah. A better even a better reason to do it. Do I go Senjin or do I rat draw? I wanna take care of that. And then drop a Senjin. I mean of course you could have a true silver. Trade both for that. Or a Senjin of his own. That works. Uh, okay, what do I want to do there? I guess I'll take care of this engine. Give me a little bit better bird control. Really? Hmm. Plus 4 health is gonna leave it at 6. I mean... I think the good play here is actually that. Uh, not that. Play this. Uh, I think I go for the attack because otherwise it might consecrate and attack that and surprise me with something like that. Which is not something that I really want happening there. Of course, you could go with a true silver trade. Or just trade. That works. Of course, I wish it was a turn for the Iron Bird. That would have been a pretty nice, pretty good turn for that. Please, a two drop, good. It's not gonna change anything if I play that, but. You know what? Let's make sure he has to trade a few things for the. I'm going to attack here. I mean, I want, even if he trades that, it's good enough for me. I 
I don't see how I could use this soul of the forest. Maybe if I don't have anything else to play at some point. Because I know next turn I'm dropping the Iron Bark. No matter what happens on play, it's probably what's happening. I don't think there's any situation where not well, where dropping it would be bad. That works. If I go and do the one damage, yeah, I think I'll take the damage here. Not letting on a board, you don't want to. You don't want the venture code to be there and letting him a bolt to give him the bind shield or something like that. Or a blessing of kings. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not that bad of a situation. Of course, if I could draw a rat right now, that'd be amazing. He's spamming a lot of small creature, so maybe a stirfall could be good. Yeah, I don't see it happening. It would actually make his board a little bit stronger right now. Really making sure that to reduce the damage. Well, I mean, right now he only has seven. Of course, he could have a blessing of king or something like that. Could actually allow it to kill my tree pretty quickly, but wow! There goes my iron bird. Now it's a good turn to use a poison seed. I mean, that's a little bit less scary than the. Than the stilted uh, stone wind champion. Of course, it's still pretty annoying. God damn it. Doesn't he run out of cards? I just feel like he's been pumping out minions turns after turns. I need a stirfall in there. I really need a stirfall. Okay, I guess I have to do it. Nothing better to do right there. I'm out of cards, so I'll have to hope. Well, that's annoying. I'm gonna be down at two, unless there is a consecration coming. No, I'm still dead. That's a pretty sick deck he has. I mean, mine is not bad, but... And if I do three, I have to waste everything. I'm dead anyway, so only option is that. And let's see. It's not gonna change anything, is it? Nope. 5-2-2 two, two, deals of 5. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. No matter what I do right there, it's uh, pretty much over. I mean, I think I did pretty decent, but he had a pretty strong deck. The point was that he kept pumping out creature without me having an answer for that. I didn't have any way of stopping the... And he got some pretty good use out of uh, the 1-1 one -one that he creates with the hero power. If I had a way of dealing with those 1-1, one -one, it would have actually saved me a little bit of trouble. Uh, I'm gonna keep the... Do I wanna keep a Merc of Nature? If I drop a creature and boost it early, it could be good. I want the rat in some early zombie child to start or something like that. 
or not like I said last game most of the time you will again and you get worse at least we got a two drop Well, that can be dealt with that. Of course, maybe I should have rat because I don't have anything to to play then, but... He did coin out that card. Oh, really? Well, it's gonna be a good target to rat. This way I get to draw. Maybe I get a one drop. Nope. I guess that's good enough for now. Hmm. I guess I have to do that. Hopefully, he doesn't play creature. Yeah, he's gonna play creature. If he doesn't, what I can do is actually boost boost the 5-2 to 5-6 with that. Really? Just how many Divine Spirit is he gonna waste? Or really? Well, it's not really a waste because he's uh, doing pretty good with those. I'm gonna have six mana. Even if I kill or trade, it's not well, it's not gonna help. I guess it's gonna be Merc of Nature plus five attack uh, for attack. I can just go Yeah. Probably gonna go and tag that so that I have to do a double, double trade. If he's smart, it's what he's gonna do. And I doubt he's not gonna do it. Oh well. I'm actually losing that right now. A little bit annoying. Uh, so do I go with... No, that would be pretty useless to play right now. Do I go face? How much exp... That's six. He's gonna heal and I'm not gonna be able to kill it, so I have to kill it now. A little bit annoying, but... If I left it alive, it's the fact that he could have healed attack and then try to heal it next. And get a few more trades with it. And that's not something one. Wow. Could he stop having an answer for everything? That'd be nice. At least he doesn't have any big creatures right now. So I guess I'm gonna start winning the late game. Hopefully. I mean, double Iron Bark plus the Volcanic Lumber. Unless he's... He's having a lot of uh, Shadow Ward death. Should be fine. Uh, yep, I think. Mm, which one do I want to take out first? I think I want to take out the Trog before... Well, I'm not going to play any spell, right? So I guess I'll just kill that. I see, it seems to be... I seems to be in a good position. Next turn I'm probably going to go with Soul of the Forest and get some value out of it. That's unless he trades everything. But it's good for the pilot trader because pilot trader is gonna transform. So I'm gonna have double meaning out of it. The thing is, is he gonna trade? So he's gonna go for that, okay. Doesn't seem like that good of a trade. But who knows? Yep, that's even better because it's gonna give me double trend.
No, I don't really care if he heals that because either way, well, he could trade that, I guess. We still get the double trade. Really? You take an 8 and 2? I, I need to well play that. I mean... Of course you get the... Uh, do I really care? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use it just to boost my cards. I mean, I don't really care which target got taunt right now. And the 2-5 is not really scary. Holy Nova. Nope. Holy no. Uh, what play do I want to do now? I guess none. I was going to be able to double trade and then start going for face. Or sometimes I feel like I'm not going for face enough, but at the same time I need to control the board even more against the Freeze. Because otherwise they just start spamming stuff out and you get screwed pretty much. If they pumps out some pretty strong creatures, like with a lot of HP, you might not be able to deal with it before he heals it, as we've seen earlier. He attacks, heal, attacks, heal. A little bit annoying, so you have to deal with what you can deal with before you boost them. I really need a little bit more early game. I'm gonna keep at least the Orvis for now. So that way I'm sure to have at least a tree drop. Well, oh, that's good. Oh, Zombie Chow is on. Good enough, good enough. I mean, even if he coins. Attack. I'll just rat and draw. Still have a play for the turn three, so I think I should be in a better position if he does that. At least I think. What to do? What yep. I think I come out a little bit better on that trade. Yeah, that's. Seems like a pretty decent play. Of course I could use the hero power, but I don't want to do that. Hmm, not that good of a draw though. Well, it's good for the Urvest. I think I'm gonna use it early, play that. And then solve the forest so that the 2-1 comes out as a 2-2 and a 2-1 when it dies. That's pretty good early. Probably better to use that early than later. I mean, if you have poison seeds and you give that to your minion, then poison seed, it's also pretty good because you do get double the minions. But please, a minion. Please, a minion. Yep. That's a pretty good card to have as a chicken. So. But problem is he's probably gonna trade, so I'm gonna lose it anyway. If he doesn't trade, I'm happy with the uh, Souls of the Forest. I mean, what's the worst case? I guess it depends on what he plays now. I think Souls of the Forest could be good even if it's a 2-1. I mean, you do get like triple minions out of one minion. That's a uh, value right there. I hate when people take forever to play. Mm. I know I've said it enough in all of my videos, but I really hate when people take forever. Really wonder what
what he's doing. Well, if he doesn't play it as good, it's also a pretty good play. Never mind. And he's going face dead. That's perfect. Uh, problem is. Uh, yeah, right there, I'm not gonna be able to get through it. Is there enough damage to. No, I don't think there's enough damage to recare. I think I'm gonna go for double minion. Yeah. He's probably gonna ping and I'm gonna lose out of that trade, but. I'm gonna tuck in out this and walk her then. Which should make it a little bit better. It's the tree tree plays that kind of a uh, ruined that. And he went for a stupid play in my opinion. Do I want to Merc of Nature it? If I go Merc of Nature I'm not gonna be able to play anything. Plus four held and taunt. Or I could go Blackwing. Or even Tiger. He's gonna ping that. Maybe double attack. I guess I'm gonna go with that. Reason why I'm attacking with it is because I know he's gonna ping it otherwise. And it doesn't change much if he pings for the Sunwalker. Well, at least that's what I think is right. And if he pings double kill, yeah, it's fine. I'm, it seems like I'm really losing the trades and he's gonna get to the flame strike turns pretty soon, but I need to keep up with him for now. He's gonna run out of a steam at some point. What is it? Fireball? Press bolt. And there comes a chicken. I was waiting for it. Okay, you can press and enter, and thank you. Uh, do I go with this engine? Yeah, I think I go with this engine. I'm just getting some armor. What's the worst case scenario? Double trade ping. He still has a taunt. I'm still a little bit behind, but not that much. But that's before I even play the card, which is a little bit annoying. Turn 7, I guess I could go for a Pytouch Raider with Merc of Nature. Don't think that's a good play. Okay. So he's gonna go for the double trade. At least I'm not losing too much. Meanwhile, I don't want to go Pytouch Raider. If I go plus four health, it's gonna be a four and seven. He can trade everything to kill it. If I go with that, it's eight. He has to ping two. It doesn't really change anything. I think I have to do it. I mean, worst case scenario, it's a fireball ping. Because he didn't use any spell. <coughs> Except for Osbolt, he didn't use any spell that really any removal. So I think it's kind of uh, dangerous right now. No matter what I play, it feels like he's got worse coming up. Like he's got something worse for me. So I'm really trying to catch up. Which seems like a long way to go. Next turn. I'm at 8. I think it's gonna be Iron Bark, of course. Because otherwise I cannot... If I draw a tree drop, that'd be good. Maybe a Rat Hero Power, that's 5 mana, plus... Uh, I cannot even play that. So even that is not a good option. 
Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Good. Please not one HP. Oh crap. Well, that's a lot of creature. That'd be pretty great to get a stirfall. At least it didn't get to play. Uh, I think I do need to play a little bit bigger creatures. If I go for that, plus two. It's really a big turn right now. I could... I think I'm gonna keep the wild girl for for a draw, and go for iron bark and start. I think I'm gonna trade one of the zero two, because even if he goes and ping, with the iron bark it's fine. Yeah. Of course, maybe that's a bad play, if he keeps the one two alive then. Well, the one, there's zero two. They were still alive too, so still have a lot of uh, minions to go through. It would be perfect for a stirfall turn, but I'm not drawing it. Well, in the last game, I wanted it too, but never got to to draw it, and I still need it. That would pr probably change the game a little bit. Yeah, if I get a stirfall, I kill that, kill that. And they're all dead. It'd be a really, really good round for that. What is it gonna be? Flame strike turns? Nope. Hmm. Kinda wanted the Doomslayer. <laughs> that could have been great. Is it gonna be a flame strike turns? I'm still waiting on a flame strike. Maybe he, d he doesn't even have one. Maybe he doesn't have it. Is he gonna trade me to want to? Okay. Good enough for me. Uh, so I guess I wanna do that. Get that out of the way. That is a 2-5 is actually perfect. I'm gonna go for a stealth. One hint plus a ping. That's good. It's also pretty good. Problem is I still have to deal with that. So I think it's a... Uh, I'm gonna take care of it. In some way he still has to trade a few things to take care of the tree six. Of course it's scary for the flame strike. But I doubt he has it, so I need to stop thinking about it, I guess. We're catching up. I have a bigger bigger late game in my opinion. I mean there's not a lot of minions that uh, the flame well the mage could have that's really that dangerous. That's good. There we go. That is just perfect. RNG was on my side for once. Really? If I give... Yeah, I think it's a good turn to go. Defender Virgus. 
I want to get rid of that by myself so I don't have to waste my minions for that. I'll take care of that and I'll take care of that and I'm gonna draw. This way I have a little bit more... Uh, well that's pretty bad. Let's play it. Of course now a top deck flame strike would be pretty bad but I doubt it. And if I can get a, a stone splinter to be uh, dealing two more damage, pretty good. I mean, I only have 10 damage on board, and I'm probably gonna trade whatever the hell plays. Please, the 2 3. Oh, well. What is that? that to the Good. Oh, I have to mute. For the crusade! Now let's hope there's no fireball top deck, that'd be pretty sad. And here we go, one more in the pocket. And it was a pretty good game, hopefully we keep going on that, well on that road. It's a pretty good game for a pretty good deck for late game, so I just have to make sure the game gets there, I guess. And we should be fine. Here we go. So there goes game number four. And hopefully we're not facing a hunter. Since we have a bad early, that's probably the the one I don't want to face. Paladin is not too bad. They have a good early, but it's not too bad. Uh, poison seed and then oh, I'm gonna keep the druid of the flame pretty good tree drop hopefully we get something yep zombie child perfect as bad as this card may seem for some people it's actually the best early game I mean out of all the one drop eh, it's probably the best it's really annoying to have to face him when you start and for a paladin it's pretty nice because well if you drop something I could have a uh, I could have attacked to destroy the divine shield and then attack it and destroy all minions. So when I do that, if I do it with my zombie child in play, it's gonna heal him. But depending on what it, depending on what's going on, it might be worth it. Uh, so he's gonna coin a tree drop. Okay. Do I do it or expound that? It's gonna drop a tree. Uh, the question is, do I go with for health intent? It's not gonna be enough to kill that anyway. I could probably just go through the flame. 
and get some more damage on the face because he's probably gonna at some point gonna trade himself in there so should be fine otherwise next turn they're gonna be pumped up a little bit so I guess it depends on what he does but it's probably gonna be a defender of Virgus and rig this shit out of it out of him and the mark of nature on that could be also pretty good I mean it's a 2-5 that becomes a 6-5. Defender Vercus is at 7-6. That's pretty good. Really? So I guess my plan is kind of ruined. That's kind of sad, but I don't think I had any option there. Can't leave a 5-2 with Divine Chill on play. Blood and and give a minion plus 2 attack. Hmm, what do I want to play? I think I'm gonna go for that. It puts the, the Druid of the Flame out of reach of a, this one killing him in one shot, so I can just attack, attack. Oh well. Well, it's going all out. So, do I want to destroy everything? I could... You know what? I could have t kept the poison seeds for later, but I'm probably gonna have the stronger, the stronger bird, so I think I want to do that since I was kind of losing on board. So by doing that, it kind of makes me... On par with him, I guess. Only that's a little bit bad, but not that big of a deal. Uh, so I guess it's gonna be a. If I go Sunwalker, he's probably gonna attack and attack again. Then I'm gonna have to. I guess it's a turn for that. And hero power. Doesn't there's no reason for me to really play too many cards there and just preemptively play my cards. I mean I have a few taunts that I can play then. I still have the Merc of Nature. He's going out out on minion, so it's pretty good. As much as I would like to play, yeah. Uh, I think it's a good turn for a Sunwalker into the well, hero power. Get the divine shield out. I guess I have to kill this one. What is it, Avenge? Yeah. I had to get rid of it. Good thing I did it without losing too many stuff. One down. That's fine with me. Okay, so. Problem is, that's 3 plus 4, 7, 9, so I guess I do that. Take the 7, I think it's fine. Not attack with a, a 
I need to attack after doing that. Not make the mistake of a. That should be fine. With all the taunt I have here, I should really be fine. Yep. A stir fall now would be pretty great. I know it's uh, not gonna happen, but. So, which one do I play? Uh, if I play this, I take a little bit of phase damage. If I go for a. Uh, I'll go with that. Do I take 4 damage? Yeah, I think I do. I know it's uh, I'm pretty low, but with him having only one card in hand, with this, nah, he's not able to deal with it too quickly. He might play Avenge, or Repentance, something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for those. What is that? Misdirection? Noble Sacrifice. Okay. I could have checked with my face, but I didn't have the mana for that. But that's good enough. Uh, well, no, I just lost. Maybe. No, I should be fine for at least this turn. I take, what, one damage? Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, you know what? There it goes. And I can play that. That seems pretty good. Now I have the lead with uh, the cards on board. I should be fine even if he gets a... If he gets that. Please don't draw any another damage card. Please don't draw another damage card. And I need to take care of that. Of course. Uh, I guess I have to go for... I want to take care of that. I want to harm her up. Uh, I think I'm not... I might seem stupid, but I have to take care of that. I cannot afford to take, uh, well I need to be able to at least survive one or more, one or two turn, get some armor, survive an armor of rat. Wow. On nine is dead. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I guess I can do that. Yeah, I think it's probably the best course of action right there. If I... Plus 4 attack on this. I get to... Kill that. Kill that. Now I just need to stop drawing stupid cards. I know I'm still losing to Consecration, which is really annoying. But you cannot just keep top decking cards like that. At some point he's gonna draw bad cards and that's gonna be it. And I have to trade. A little bit annoying. What am I gonna draw? Uh, yeah, I need to go with that. Good. That kind of made it quicker. He didn't want to waste the time of uh, the top deck battle. He could have won that. Pretty sure he could. I was at 3 HP. If he had another Hammer of Rat, I was dead. Because I was gonna trade for the 1-1 with my face. Uh, but I'll take it. So we're at 3 and 1, which is pretty decent. With all the late game we have, we're doing pretty good. We need to survive and not take too much damage early on, but then we can just... Uh, kind of stabilize. It's a pretty fun deck.
I didn't think I was gonna do that good with it, but I'm still happy I'm doing so so. Please not hunter. Hmm. Warlock, they have some pretty good early. I need a little bit better than that. Yep, that's good enough. Actually, it's perfect. I wish I had a tree drop. There we go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. He's gonna play a zombie child of his own. Question is, would I want a rat a zombie child? I don't think so. It's gonna be River Crocolus. I think I'm gonna keep the yeah, I'm gonna keep my cards. The rat could be pretty good. He might murder all Koi, but either way, he would have killed it. He would have done the trade himself, even well. If I did rat, he might not have done it, but whatever, it's fine. I mean, what are the odds of him having a murder Koi? Pretty low. And we're fine. Yeah. The soul of the forest, if he doesn't kill my minion, might be a good for a, for a drop. Because it does. And it's a little bit annoying. Actually, Defender of Urgus right there would give me 3 and 3, but 2. It won't kill it. I could double trade and then he's gonna kill it himself, but... I think I'm gonna go send in and... That seems fine to me. Because he might hellfire pretty soon, so having the... The zombie chow at 3, well, 2, 2, 3 and 2, whatever, is not gonna help that much if he else fire. This is gonna die, but gonna come back to life, this survives it. <coughs> you would need to do one more damage. So right now that seems like the, like the best, to have a little bit of board control. Or at least keep it. And depending on what he plays, if I can deal with it without using Defender of Virgus, I might just go for the Soul of the Forest, so that even if he clears, I'll be fine. Really? That seems like a pretty stupid play. Well, maybe not, I mean... Uh, I don't want to do that. I know I want a Wild Grilt now. And I'm gonna take the damage. Uh, that was stupid. God damn it. I thought I had one more mana than that. That was a big waste. I wanted to rat for one damage and draw and kill him with that. Uh, kill him with the rat and the hero power. Whatever, stupid play. Shit happens. I should have played the, the Soul of the Forest to have something on board after. But I think I'm fine anyway. What's the worst six drop that could... Mm, that's good enough. Yeah, that's good too. So, do I want to get rid of the board? I could rat attack, but there would still be that left there. For each other me in the battlefield, I could taunt. No, I think I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Sea Giant. Then, even if he trades a few of them, next turn I taunt. So I still have the lead, and then I can even boost them with the defender one turn after that. 
Okay. So it's a good thing that we didn't. So now we need to use the sea giant in a good way. So if I kill that, I think the best thing would be to kill that, use rat, use hero power. That would cost me four, but there would be four of them that, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I need to kill that. Rat that. Wrath, not rat. And you know what? Now is as good time as ever to use that. Wish I could have played that, but whatever. It's a little bit annoying to lose my minions to small ones like that, but... Well, it's going all out with the, the Zeus... Zoo playstyle, it feels like we're playing against a zoo lock without it being arena, well, constructed. Uh, do I don't want to deal two damage to all minion, then hero power kill that. I would kill two, that would cost me seven, so I'll be left with three. I'll kill one, two, three. So that will be six. I won't have enough for that. I guess I'll go for a... Let's get those minions in the range of a, a Sturfall, and then I can Sturfall and use a Volcanic Lumber, probably. I mean, it's one, two, three. Six damage. Yeah, that should be good. Six damage, even if he go all out on that with some damage, maybe a power of overwhelming. He would kill it, but I would still be able to use a volcanic lumber anyway. The annoying thing is that he still has a lot of cards, but it feels like he's been playing four minions every turn. So he's gonna trade. What is happening here? Dark Mom. And he trades the last one. Good. Now he has one, two. So really, that's the only smart play I can do right now. What I could do to Draken it and the, then the Defender of Virgos, but that's gonna happen next turn. If we can get him low enough, I just want him to be under 15, so that's the 9 9 plus the Defender is gonna be a 10 10 with Taunt. That could be amazing. But we need to make sure that he doesn't get rid of that. I mean, he used so many freaking removal. At some point, he's gonna run out of it. I mean, you only need one damage anyway to get rid of it, so... Well, that's good. Does he have uh, a dark bomb again? No, Hellfire. I guess it's gonna be a stir fall. I mean, it's not a freaking mage with pyroblast <laughs> and her double fireball, so we should be fine. And he's at 15, so that should be a good combo.
At some point, the only bad thing is that I'm taking a lot of damage. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I need to go with that combo. I mean, you do need to trade at least two of them, even with a uh, damage, even with power overwhelming. He wouldn't get it. He wouldn't kill it. So I think we should be fine to take care of both of them. Oh well. He might just pass if we're lucky. Oh. Good job. If he hit the 10 10, he could have double traded and kill it. Now he cannot even kill it, even if he wanted to. I doubt he has a Myrtle Koi, so we should be fine. If he had it, he would have used it a long time ago. A lot of annoying time, though. I, I want to get that as a 5 2. Uh, I don't want to do that. If I tag that, I lose this one. But then he's going to be able to tag both of them. Uh, it's a big question. Because I could kill that with this one, but it's gonna die. He's gonna be left with a 1-2 with Taunt. If I take care of that, at least it's at 9 HP, but it's gonna die either way, right? Yeah, I think the best case scenario is to... This one next turn, I should be able to kill him. At least I think. If this one stays alive and he doesn't have another tent, I should be fine. Actually, he might tap and get something, but I guess it's a pretty close game. Either one, the one that loses the boards right now, kind of lose a game. So I have to really be smart about what I do. Three and four, and then he goes for five. I should still be fine. Well, that that is kind of bad. Freeze a minion, okay. He goes for five to face. Then next turn, I think I lost. That freaking spare part. I play the divine shield. He might not have something to deal with that. I guess we'll find out. It all comes down to what he draw. He has a lot more chance than me because he has uh, that life tap. Well, he cannot life tap now, but he did life tap before. If he got some damage, any way of uh, dealing damage to my son Walker, I'm dead. I think I won. Unless he has a taunt. Okay. Not a dark bomb. Oh, I think I won. Wow. That was kind of lucky. But I guess it's uh, it's the kind of game it was. Pretty close. Well, happy about that win. There we go. And we're down to... 4 and 0, oh. well 4 and 1, not 0. Oh. We're doing good, we're doing good. It's been a while since I actually got for a win, so I'll be happy about that. Lately all my run were uh, pretty bad, I'll be honest. Uh, mage, I think we're fine against mage. 
Unless it's, uh, well, it's for one. Do I want to keep the Merc of Nature? I think I'm gonna... Mulligan that. Yeah, that's good enough. Might be a bad play not to play the one drop, but I want to keep it for a... I don't know, value, I guess. And he's coining out two drops, so... Yep, that's fine. Like I said, as long as I don't screw up the beginning most of the time, I should be fine. Because I do have a pretty good late game. Even if he has a lot of fireball and stuff, well, stuff like that. I should still be fine. Now I cannot really go for the questing, ad questing adventure. I need to go with Rat. And I think I'm gonna keep the Abusive Surgeon for next turn. Play that and that, so that this way the questing becomes a tree tree and can actually deal with that. No, that might seem like a waste, but I'm really only playing it for the tree tree. He can ping attack if he does. If he does ping that, I'll be fine. If he doesn't, let's say he doesn't ping that, I can just attack and ping. So, either way, I'm pretty much fine. Mm, well, now I cannot ping. Do I want to surf all that? That is a question. And he makes it a 2-4. Uh, do I go stir fall trade? I think that's probably the only option I have right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I mean, that gives a lot of value to a questing adventure. And it's on my turn that was frozen, so I think I'm gonna be fine for next turn. Then I can taunt him, actually get some value out of him. That's of course if he doesn't use a spell to kill it now. If he plays a minion it should be fine. Well, I guess it's good game adventure. But that's fine with me. Drew the flame. Yeah. Very many bears occur. Fine. Do I want to play around Flame Strike? I don't think I want to do that. I want to play the game normally, and if he has Flame Strike, too bad. But I don't want to play too much stuff, so I have to think about what I'm going to play now. Of course, I want to kill that. I need to kill the Berserker first. This one can be dealt with. And maybe play that as a 5 2, but if he, if he has a flame strike, it doesn't survive. That survives a flame strike, but. I guess it's gonna be that. I'm pretty sure a guy who. Who's four and one with the mage is gonna have some flame strike or fireball? Yeah, flame strike coming. But that's fine because it does. Oh well, might be a mirror entity, so it might be. Yep, that's good. I'll go with that. As a two five because if it's mirror entity. No, it's not mirror entity. So let's go hero power. Get rid of that. It's gonna be duplicate. No, okay. So that's hopefully not vaporize. Yeah, okay. 
That's all good. That's all good. I wish it wasn't Vaporize. I wish it was the maybe Shield Block or something like that, but... Oh, there it goes. My 2-5. I did use a lot of stuff. I think I'm gonna be fine with that. You might have a polymorph. Nope, okay. That seems like a pretty good spot for me. If I play that, that's gonna be sick, yep. Now we can just deal with that. And start dealing some good damage to his face. I mean, that's probably the way I think you have to deal with the mage. And it's a little bit more annoying, the Sunwalker. I mean, mage most of the time, of course it's arena, but my mage most of the time, they're gonna be... What the hell is he doing? Most of the time with mage you're gonna be like dealing with their minions and then they're not gonna have an answer because they're gonna have too many spells so if you survive all the spells you're fine. Yeah I'm gonna kill that. Yeah that's good enough. No need for a taunt right now. If he had minions, or if it was a face hunter, maybe, with all the charge, but right now it's a mage. There's not gonna be that many charge. And, yep, I prefer that he kills that and the uh, fan creeper. He's probably gonna ping that, yep. Now we just need to get some damage in. Yeah, let's play it. I could have went for the Volcanic Lumber, but it's a it's the kind of card that I prefer to keep for uh, when the situation just needs it. Oh well. Kind of happy I'm keeping my cards through all those spells. The strongest cards I have right now are surviving, so it's all good. Let's see what we draw. Give me something good. Yeah, that is good enough. And now it's really, for him, it's a top deck, so it's. I'm pretty sure I can win that. Unless he gets some pretty good cards out of uh, the top decks. The reason why I brought that out is that if he attacks one of those, he's probably gonna kill this one, ping this. But then I'm gonna be able to kill him with that, get some phase damage in, bring him to 15 and then play that as a 9-9. This all depends on his draw, as always. Question is, do I wanna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna trade both of those. Oh, maybe not. Kill that. I wanted to keep it, but I need to pump out some more damage. So that in two turns, technically, he should be dead. I mean, flame strike right now would only take care of those two, so that's that's fine. What is that? Another blizzard? Nope. So what I'm gonna do is go for face this one. Play that. Kill that. No more spell. Good. I was ready to wait to well kill it to evaporize. I would have had the Hirenberg anyway. Of course, maybe it would have been smarter to wait and attack with that phase, but you know, sometimes you have to take risk.
Let's just scare him with all the big monster. I mean, when you look at that bird, you gotta be scared. No matter who you are, you're scared. 5-1, good. I think the best I did so far is 5, so we're on equality. Well, yeah. We're on the draw with my best so far, so we're gonna try to beat that. If we can get close to 10 win, I'm gonna be happy about it. If not, too bad. But I think we're... Ooh, that should be a little bit more interesting. And that's not a good hand. Really not. So hopefully I don't mulligan that into something even worse. Well, it's hard to be worse than that for a start. Mm, yeah. It's bad, but it's not that bad. At least I'm the one who starts, so if he plays an Earthshire, I'm just gonna rat it. Don't want it to... I should stop saying rat it. It's rat. Raf. Raf. Whatever. <laughs> so turn to... yeah. I mean, do I really want to raf that? That's probably the question I have to ask myself right now. I'm getting into minute crystal. Yeah, you know what? You can... You can keep his uh, knife juggler for one more turn. Even if he plays a minion now. So I'm gonna be at the... Uh, yeah, it's for damage. It's fine. You can trade those two if you want. Wow, okay. If I get plus 4, it's 9. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'm gonna clear the board. I don't care about a shadow form. I can even go with a strangled thorn and then use mark of nature on it and make it five and yeah nine five. Silence minion, okay. It's still a tree five. Even if he pings it, I think I'm fine with that. And next turn I can pile the shredder, mark of nature and goes for some big phase damage. Or not. So I have to use my hero power. He's probably gonna shadow form that again. A little bit annoying, but there's not much I can do about that. Well, I could have work of nature on it, but he might have a shadow or death. So even if he doesn't ping it, he might could have probably used it. But it's kind of slowing him down playing. Yeah. I could go and summon a 2 2 tree ant. That would give me 1 2 plus. You know what? Why not? And do that. Oh my freaking god. I... Oh my god. That's... That's... That's really stupid. Oh my god. That just gave him some free damage in my face. Well, you know what? I get that for free. Probably gonna go with Shadow Word Death. Probably. If he doesn't, well, it's a good thing for me. I mean, I play like it was constructed, but maybe he didn't even get the, the Shadow Word Death in the draft, so maybe all those big creatures, he can't deal with them. Never mind. Of course, he had it. Does he have another one of those? That's a question. <coughs> I 
I'm doing that in case it doesn't actually trade. This way I can actually ping and kill this one or kill the next big thing he drops. It would be pretty annoying if he had another Shadow Ward death, but by seeing how slowly he is playing, I doubt he has it. If I give him plus four, it's gonna be a twelve. Plus two plus four, so he's gonna trade all. And use Shadow Form. Or Mind Spike is what I should call it. Okay, what do I get? Taunt and Divine Shield. Where do I go with this Triangle Turn? If you attack that, yeah, I think I should be fine with that. Need to start getting some damage in. He can't heal, so I need to take, well, use that to my advantage. Of course, the, sh well, Storm Spike is a little bit annoying, Mind Spike. But it's probably worse if he had the healing, in my opinion. Really? Well, that doesn't change much, I guess. Uh, I guess I want to take care of that. Hopefully he doesn't have a Holy Nova. That would be a little bit annoying. But he could attack and yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. There was no reason for me to really keep the Stone Splinter in my hand. There would have been no situation where it was good to play it. And actually it killed the... It killed the Acolyte, so that's all, all fine. Question is, when is he gonna start playing big creatures? Hm, there's one. That's not too big, so that's fine. Hmm. Uh, do I go and deal with that? He might boost that next turn. So I could actually... Yeah, I'm gonna keep the abusive. There's no reason to play it. It's just gonna die to a ping from that. The fact he has four cards in his hand is a little bit more annoying. I need to find a way of being able to deal with whatever the hell he's playing. Northshire, hmm, he cannot heal, so it's all good. Unless he has a Arch, well, Holy Nova. He's really desperate for draw. I guess it works out for him. Uh, it's not working out for me, though. He's just gonna kill that. I'm probably gonna lose. It really depends on what I draw, but even the micro machine is getting out of end. Let me change your mind. Yeah, that's it. One shot. Look at that. That's a pretty sick deck he has. And he played pretty well. Cannot say anything bad about it. He played the card perfectly, but had a pretty good. He had a pretty good deck. <coughs> I guess the Shadow Form was kind of a more of a tread than a healing, and with the kind of deck he has, of course, could have healed a lot of stuff. But if he if he doesn't take any damage, then there's no reason for him to heal. And he had the Holy Nova. He even wasted the Holy Nova just to heal his minion. Well, one minion. I mean, that tells you a lot about the kind of deck he has. It's an aggressive, aggressive priest. Oh crap! I didn't want to play against another priest. I wanted to play against a mage or something like that. And the Sun Walker, I'm not gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the Blood Cell and the Questing. Yeah, that's good.
That's even better. I have a well, two drop, one drop, three, two drop, maybe three drop. Probably questing first, depending on what he plays. Or I guess it's gonna be. Uh, let's get rid of that. You really don't want to go for face, I think, with the zombie child. I think I did that last turn. Maybe that wasn't so good because what's fun about the quest, uh, the zombie chow is that it's pretty strong as a one drop, so you can deal with pretty much anything plays. Except that. You know what? Let's piss him off a little bit. Having that, not, well, not having to deal with a creature with plus three health is good. pretty good. Well, <laughs> or maybe even six more health. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take the risk. He's gonna play a creature and trade that, but that's fine. Or er, plus two health, okay. I'm just gonna trade that. Hope he knows that. Okay, so he's healing it for three. Ah, he's being a little bit annoying. Hmm. I go fan creeper, he's just gonna heal that out of range, so I guess I I go like that. That's what I meant last game, that sometimes the healing is a little bit more annoying than the than the mind spike. You know what? I'll take care of that before it gets healed. And we're gonna take care of that. And of course now that's a little bit annoying, but that should still be fine. Yeah, you missed. Oh, try to word def? Come on, do it. You wanna do it. Okay, that's uh, that's kind of scary. If you got the lumber or even the treant, hopefully you didn't get those. I'm gonna be at seven. I could, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to use the mark of nature. That's why I got three. That's still again. Wow, he was so happy about what he got that he did it two times. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go face. I could have doubled Mark of Nature, but just in case he does the Shadow Ward death. Well, it was a Shadow Ward death. I should have known that. Oh, it's a big game hunter. Well, there it goes. It's a big game hunter. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take four. Still pretty much fine. I guess we do that. He's really annoying. Yep, really, really, really annoying. I do need to find a way of playing some big minions now because otherwise I'm still gonna lose those two too.
I guess the worst matchup I could have gone was that. And that Divine Shield is a little bit annoying too. I'm down at 14, so he has 6 plus 7, so I'm pretty much dead next turn, depending on what happens. As much as I wanted to take out the Divine Shield, I think I need to do that. He's going to trade the Divine Shield of those two. We're probably just going to take that out. It's going to be at... Uh, yeah. Trade two and kill it with that. It's still going to have the Divine Shield. Stop playing cards. Wow. And that's a good game. Got, oh, I didn't even realize he got a win through on the 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, good game. Uh, let's end it. Let's see what we draw first. Of course, there's nothing that can win me the game. I mean, even if I play the Dragon it with... It's a 6-6. Six, six. He's just gonna kill it once, and yeah, that's good game. Yeah, that could have went pretty much both ways, but I think his deck is really powerful. Both priests were kind of the bad matchup for me. Well, 7-5 win. I guess it's good enough. As long as I go over 50%, I'm happy about it. Give me some good rewards, come on. 55, 55 gold is not enough. Let's see what we get. We got our first legendary not too long ago. Maybe we can get some more. No epic. Wow. Okay, and I really wish it was Classic Pack and not the uh, GVG. I'm not getting much out of those. I'm still, well, of course, I'm still waiting for the Doctor Boom, but that's really the only card I, the, the only card I want from the GVG. Then I'm gonna have to buy my packs instead of winning them. So that was a pretty decent round five three with the Druid. It's probably the first time I played the Druid, I think. So a little bit happy about that. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.